Whether it's automobiles or cloud, it looks like the winner is hybrid. More next on STR News Live. Welcome to this episode of STR News Live. I'm Andy McCaskey from STR News. And in this series, we try and talk with people who are contributing in the world of enterprise computing. And of course, today, that means the world of cloud computing. And a fellow that I've had a number of conversations with, uh, Mr. Pete Johnson, is joining us uh, here today. And uh, we've had uh, a number of opportunities to talk over the years, and it looks like uh, you're kind of in a new role here. Tell us about that. I am indeed, yeah. So I just recently joined Clicker Technologies, a Santa Clara-based company that uh, has a really nice application called uh, Clicker Cloud Center. It's uh, application-defined cloud management. So rather than taking uh, an approach to application management where you try to adapt an application to a cloud, Clicker takes kind of the opposite approach where we adapt the different clouds, public or private, to your application in a way that gives you unmatched portability and ease of management across multiple kinds of clouds. Yeah. Well, if you can maybe pull back a little bit and help us to put this in perspective, and particularly in perspective with, with what you see happening in the world of cloud computing uh, in, in the coming year, in, 2000, in 2014. Cloud computing continues to be a, a pretty strong topic uh, out, out there in, in the world of enterprise computing. And, and as you know, I spent forever at HP. I spent a good 17 years in HP IT myself, so I, I know what folks in, in those kind of roles face. And if you look if you look at some of the most recent Gartner studies, there's something like almost $4 trillion worth of global worldwide IT spend. But no matter how you slice it, less than 10% and probably closer to less than 7% of that is on public cloud right now. So what are people waiting for? Um, at Clicker, we think people are waiting for a way to more easily migrate their workloads from that on-premise uh, to the public cloud in a way that gives them a, a hybrid environment that's easy for them to manage. We think hybrid's going to win. Um, in many ways, hybrid maybe already has, has one. What people are waiting for are the tool sets that can help them manage that more effectively. If, if you look at how early migration and management tools have sort of evolved, there were those that took kind of a VM-centric approach where you take some kind of custom snapshot and, and move that to a cloud. And while that, that made the movement of a single VM very easy, for any kind of complicated multi-tiered applications, there was a lot of configuration you had to do afterwards. So it was good for portability, this uh, VM approach, this VM snapshot approach, but it was bad for manageability. And on the other side of that, you had uh, another set of vendors that would be highly script-based. So you would write a bunch of custom scripts. You'd have to alter your application a little bit. It made it so that you could manage uh, the application lifecycle really effectively, but it really it locked you into one cloud. And enterprises, more than anybody, have been down that road of lock-in and know that's not a place that you want to go. Uh, this reminds me almost of a teeter-totter where, where you have portability, and when you increase the portability, then the, then the management of it falls off. And exactly. if, you, if you go the other way, then uh, you, you, you've got the, the reverse problem. Sure, it, it, and with some traditional approaches, that's exactly the balance that you're, you're trying to strike. What we do differently at Clicker is with some patent pending technology within our Cloud Center product called the, the, the Cloud Center Orchestrator. And what it does is it's a, a layered approach that sort of abstracts the different pieces of what a cloud is about. And then there's a, a, a bottom layer we call the cloud blade, which implements those features on a specific cloud. So we have uh, cloud blades, for example, for AWS, for Windows Azure, for Google Compute Engine, uh, as well as uh, the, the HP Public Cloud and uh, popular pu private cloud platforms as well. So we have them for VMware, uh, CloudStack, and OpenStack. And so by having these blades for each of the individual uh, different clouds that you might want to deploy on, we abstract the functionality of those into kind of a, a, a middleware layer that when you tell us the, about the, the needs of your application in something we call a profile, the 
Cloud Center Orchestrator will take that profile and then based on what it knows about a specific cloud, it'll then provision the infrastructure uh, in a way that, that puts those two things together that still allows you to natively and very seamlessly deploy your application on that cloud. But because of this abstraction, it does it in a way that doesn't take away from the portability. So now if you could contrast that Traditionally, that would have been done with scripts. Is 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 that uh, is that correct? Yeah. So that was that was one of the first approaches. I mean, I mentioned those two approaches: how you do kind of a, a VM imaging approach, or you do a, a script-based approach. So what we've done with the Cloud Center Orchestrator is we abstract the functionality that you might find in different clouds. So you know whether that's load balancing or vanilla VMs or uh, databases, and then we've We've abstracted that in such a way that we know which clouds have which features. And you just, in your profile, you say, you know, maybe you have a three-tier Java app, and I know I need a load balancer, I need some app servers, and I need a database server. Well, on one cloud, that might be some vanilla VMs. On another cloud, that might be some uh, more sophisticated uh, lower level, like load balance as a service or database as a service. Because in the orchestrator, we make that additional abstraction we can choose the best fit for each cloud in a very unique way. And like I said, still allow you because you've profiled your application and you know what your needs are, that makes it portable to multiple clouds with that single profile. Yeah, so, so it's it's putting the um, kind of the, the app in the driver's seat as opposed and making the cloud conform as opposed to warping the application to comply with what the cloud requires. Exactly, and that's exactly how we describe it in our marketing materials, that it's it's application-centric, or sometimes we call it application-defined cloud management. So I understand you have a seminar coming up uh, in conjunction with another company. Uh, you talk, tell me about that. Yeah, so the folks at 451 Research have uh, been collecting data with uh, various enterprises out there, and they've come to the conclusion that hybrid has won, and that's what the topic of our webinar with them uh, is next week on the 13th. It's about how, how hybrid has won, how you can prepare yourself as maybe one of those enterprises that hasn't made the cloud jump yet for, uh, for this hybrid world so that you can move workloads amongst different clouds, or you know maybe you have things like dev test that you want to run in public cloud because you're going to run them, you're going to spin them up and spin them down. But maybe production you run, uh, you know, in house on a private cloud. And you know, our take on it is that you need the tool sets that will allow you to to very easily accommodate that kind of model. And, and Clicker can do exactly that for you. Excellent. So um, obviously, if you can uh, provide the information on how to um, attend that webinar. Uh, before the 13th, and I assume you're going to have that archived and, uh, and available. Uh, how would people find out about it after the event? Sure, so the registration for the webinar is available on our website at our blog. So if you just go to www.clicker.com slash blog, it's uh, the second article that, that's on there right now. The first, one, the, the first one being the one I published earlier in the week about why I joined Clicker, very much the conversation that you and I just had. Uh, but there's a link there where you can register for the webinar. And yeah, after, after the fact, uh, sometime a week or two after that, we're going to archive that and make that playable off of our blog as well. Okay, well, Pete, always good to uh, keep in touch uh, with you. Uh, I forgot to ask at the beginning uh, what the uh, uh, Twitter uh, handle is that you, that you have or that uh, Clicker has that we should be uh, following here. Sure. Well, I'm still at, at uh, my Twitter handle is Nerd Guru, and there's a long, boring story that goes with that, <laughs> but just roll with it. And uh, Clicker is, uh, is a Clicker Tech, C L I Q R T E C H. Okay, excellent. Well, I'll uh, get that into my follow list to, here as well. Of course, you can follow um, SDR News at SDR News or my personal Twitter at AXMC. Also brand new on Facebook and of course on the YouTube channel as well. Pete, thanks very much for joining us. Look forward to our next uh, conversation. And uh, uh, thanks to you folks as well for joining us here on SDR News Live.